Hi, welcome back to the Heather Mac Reacts. Today we're going through some more Am I the A-Hole clothes? And if you like videos like this, make sure you subscribe because I post five times a week, every single week. Now, if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's get into this first story. This says, Am I the A-Hole for thinking my stepdaughter would be fine on the couch for a couple days? It's always the stepkids, isn't it? Reddit already says they're the A-Hole. Let's see what we have to think, but we'll probably agree. I have three kids, 10 female, eight male, seven male. From a previous marriage, and my wife has one, 12 female. We've been married for six months and all of the kids have had trouble adjusting. My daughter does not, doesn't like not being the oldest, only daughter. My stepdaughter can be possessive over her mom. Neither of them are great at sharing. We just took our first vacation together with me, my wife, the kids, and my wife's sister, 23, who lives with us and helps with the kids. The room arrangements were me and my wife in the master, my sister-in-law in the second bedroom with a double bed, my daughter and stepdaughter in a room with two twin beds, and my sons in a room with a double bed. The first night, we got to the rental pretty late, and everyone went to bed with no problems. The second night, my wife and I went out, and my sister-in-law told me that my stepdaughter was sleeping in her room because she and my daughter got into an argument. The third night, my, my stepdaughter came to me and said that my daughter kicked her out of their room. I went to talk to my daughter and she said she hated sharing a room and wanted my stepdaughter gone. I know it sounds mean, but she's never had to share a room before and she's still adjusting. How old is she? Hold on. 10. Mm, mm, okay. I told my stepdaughter that my daughter needed her own space and to sleep on the couch or see if she could sleep with her aunt again. She started to cry and went to her aunt. My sister-in-law told my wife what happened and my wife yelled at me for kicking my stepdaughter out of the room and said that my daughter should have had to leave if she had the problem, but my daughter's used to having her own room in bed. Oh, sir. Yikes. My stepdaughter shared a pull-out couch with my wife for five years before they moved in with me. I thought she wouldn't mind since she's so used to sharing beds or sleeping on the couch. Yeah, the poor kid who had to share a sleep had to share a pull-out bed with her mom for years. Maybe she'd like her own freaking bed. You jerk. My wife started yelling at me for favoring my daughter and she and my sister-in-law ended up leaving early with my stepdaughter. They've all ignored me and my kids since we got back and although they never mentioned anything about leaving, I think they might be planning on leaving. My sister-in-law has been taking extra babysitting jobs and my wife started doing random odd jobs for cash. I'm starting to think I screwed up here, but I wanted to know if I was the a-hole for thinking she'd be fine on the couch for a few days. If you don't treat A like B, you're being an a-hole. If you don't treat your daughter like you treat your stepdaughter, you're being an a-hole. Oh my God, yeah, no, huge a-hole. Do not have different standards for different kids. Like your wife said, if your daughter had the problem well, and she doesn't wanna share a room, well then you can go have the couch to yourself. The living room will be all yours. And then if you find that you can share and you can somehow get along, then maybe you can come back to the bedroom. See, this is why your kids aren't getting along with the stepdaughter and the new wife because you're a D-bag. Y'all, I want to know what you think about that one in the comments, but I'm irritated. <laughs> Let's get on to the next story. Okay, this says, am I the a-hole for telling my estranged parents to accept that they lost their only child? Yikes, that's heavy. Okay, my parents had my sister and I, 18 female, a year apart. My sister died a few weeks ago. I was already estranged from them. My sister was severely disabled and had a number of medical problems related to her birth. She wasn't able to eat, walk, talk, or do anything for herself. For as long as I can remember, my parents were either working or dedicating all their time to her. Anytime I wasn't perfectly behaved, perfectly independent child, I was met with anger from them. Oh yeah, like we have to spend all this time on your sister, so you who's only 12 months older, you need to be on your own. Like when I struggled to stay awake in kindergarten because some of the machines in mine and my sister's room would keep me up all night, I got a stern talk about how it was a disruption they didn't need when my teacher started to think I was dyslexic. They accused me of faking it for attention and grounded me for several days. Wow, these people are so nice. When I complained to my grandma about feeling unwanted, she went after them over it. I got yelled at and called a spoiled brat. I was left alone in the hospital when I got my tonsils out and when I had appendicitis and they needed to remove those too. My dad grumbled on the way home both times about how much of their time I took up. 
Well, my sister ended up in the hospital for two months at age 10 and my parents left me home alone. I called gra grandma and she stayed with me. She also called CPS a few times over the year, but nothing changed. And when my parents found out, they were angry that I got them into trouble with her. I have so much more I could say, but there's just too much I could rant about. When I was 16, I made the decision I needed to leave and I told them I was going. They rolled their eyes, but I moved in with my grandma and nothing happened. So I stayed with her and still live with her today. Grandma went to my sister's funeral, but I did not. I also did not speak to my parents directly after she died. Grandma did very briefly. After the funeral was over, and I guess once they realized they had nobody, they tried to reach out to me. I told them to accept they had lost their only child and to leave me alone because there was nothing they could do for me after 18 years. They were crying and angry and told me I was cruel and my sister was dead and I'm trying to punish them when they're gr grieving the worst loss imaginable. Am I the a-hole? No, if they didn't have time for you then, they sure as crap don't need to make time for you now. Like, hello, when I was at my youngest, when I was at my most vulnerable, when I was at my weakest, y'all left me to fend for myself. And now, now, when you have some free time to spare, you think you're just going to be my mommy and daddy again? I don't think so. Not the a-hole. I want to know what you think about that one in the comments. And let's get to the next story. Am I the equal for calling my mother-in-law out for excluding only me on the family girls trip? That's pretty awful. Reddit says you're the a-hole. So, or she's the a-hole, I guess. You're the a-hole? Yeah, Reddit says you're the a-hole, so let's see. So I get along with my mother-in-law most of the time, but sometimes me and her clash. The only relevant time we've had issues was a few years ago when we were on a family vacation and got into a massive fight. The long and short of it was I ended up missing an important family dinner at the restaurant my mother-in-law and father-in-law met at. Usually when I'm on vacation, I don't like to schedule stuff out and just explore and have fun, so I got distracted and missed dinner. Last week, I learned that my mother-in-law and all my sister-in-laws are going on a trip to California this summer. Apparently, they planned this since last year, and I was specifically left out of all the planning. My sister-in-law said that the reason my mother-in-law cho chose not to invite me was because of the fight we had about that dinner years ago. I'm the kind of person who likes to deal with things head on, no petty BS, so I called my mother-in-law up last night. She said she at first said it was not personal, that she wanted to plan a bunch of activities over the week in Cali and knew I was not the one for long planned itineraries. I said that was crap because I could come and still hang out with them at the beach and hotel while going to do the planned stuff I choose. She then said she was not going to play, pay for a flight and hotel for me just for me to choose to stand up to everyone. Choose to stand up, stand up everyone, like stand them up, like not show up. Is that what you mean? Things got heated really quickly and she ended up telling me that she swore to herself never to pay for another of my trips after ruining her anniversary trip like I did just because I'm selfish and can't bother to do things other people want to do. This was complete BS and I called her out on it. We ended up fighting and I hung up. I texted all my sister-in-laws telling them I'm completely disgusted they would all leave me out of this just because mother-in-law has a petty grudge against me and cannot stop being a control freak for five seconds. Today, I woke up to text after text telling me to grow up and that she was not the only one who didn't want me there. My husband supports me 100%, but apparently he got chewed out by, by my mother-in-law today and he said now he's staying out of it. So now I'm starting to wonder if calling her out like that was too far and that I should have been the bigger person. I don't know though. Ma'am, if someone else is paying for your vacation and scheduled an important dinner, it's not okay to just wander around and get lost and like totally miss it. Are you kidding me? Like you are such an a-hole that you can't set an alarm on your phone, that you can't check your watch to make sure that you're not running late to a dinner that the person who paid for your trip planned. Like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I agree with Reddit. You are completely the a-hole. You need to grow up, start being a little bit more responsible, start, start being a little bit more considerate of other people's uh, feelings and time and money. And yeah, grow up. <laughs> I wanna know what you think about that one in the comments because 
once again, I am irritated. Don't forget we have a playlist of over 100 MID whole videos up here that you can binge. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!